Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka, International New Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do a beautiful summary design. I can have a wee preview of it in here. I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button as there is lots of tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesday and Saturdays. Also, we're posting on some extra days as well, a slightly different content as well. Uh, if you're existing subscriber, thank you so much guys for all your likes, comments, shares and all the support you are giving to this channel. Let's start! We are going to paint some flamingo uh, today and I've got those two tips ready. We need to do some background like on this tip. Um, so I'm going to use uh, a colors number 233. Actually I will do it on this one. And I will put a drop of it on my mixing palette as well because we will use it for a flamingo too. Then the orange, and I love this one, my new favorite, you guys know, is uh, 234. And then drop on my mixing palette. And from the previous colors, 178 candy floss. So that's just like a wee pink color. So you can see they are very pastel the colors quite difficult to do the ombre but you have seen me using some acrylic powder before to achieve a really nice results so i've got my sponge in here and i'm using the matte part of the sponge just dab it in so first of all the sponge is going to absorb the color quite strong but don't worry about it, we will sprinkle it with the acrylic powder so we can do a really nice ombre. So once, it's uh, once you apply the first layer, I'm just sprinkle the clear acrylic powder. And it will help me absorb the product better on the next layer. On this one straight away I'm going to start painting the background and I wanted it not too dark so I'm going to use the same sponge and do it just like a wee pink colors and then yellow in the center. You can even dip it in more. and then give it a cure. We will also need some um, gel arts. They are highly pigmented, like really highly pigmented. Actually doing ombre with those gels is so easy. Um, doing ombre with the gel polishes is always the most difficult task. Okay, so I have done the scoop of yellow. And then we are going to need also some red. And I need yellow close to the red and I uh, also need some separate red to create some nice pink color. And since I've got it on my brush uh, on the mixing spatula red, I'm going straight away mixing it into some orange. Okay, 
so I've got some nice orange and then we need some white and I love this white for baby boomer and the French as well okay so I'm picking up the scoop and I will add it here and I will add it there and then I need separate scoop as well okay so that's all my colors mixed so I've got some pink And depending how light you want, you just keep adding more or less of the certain color. Okay, we can go for the round two. You can also apply the products on the sponge uh, as well, so your sponge absorbs it and then just dab it with the sponge. Whichever way is easier for you, you can just do it. And I'm using the pinching tweezers just so I don't touch the sponge as much. And you can see it because we've got those acrylic powder in there, it lets me mix the colors much easier. And I'm doing motion like up and down a little bit and then going from one side to the other side just so the colors blends really well. Cure it. And I keep the sponge on the back of the form uh, just because I don't want any fluffs in there. If you don't remove any fluff from the sponge, it might look quite messy. So I do always suggest keeping the sponge uh, on the back of the form. Okay, I can. That's the clear acrylic powder I have used. So just a normal um, acrylic powder. Okay, this is cured. If you get a wee bits and pieces like I did, you can use the cuticle pusher and just scrape it off. And that's probably the particle of the sponge, which I didn't remove it. So just scrape it off before you put another layer. Okay, and this way I've got beautiful ombre. So let's this cook and in the meantime, just going to wipe away the clear acrylic powder from here so my tips don't run over. <laughs> and we can start painting those beautiful flamingo. So I want to start with those pinkish color, like I'm kind of mixing the gel polish with the, um, with those highly pigmented gel and we are going to paint a letter two. So this is the easiest way, guys, to paint any kind of birds when you're painting a letter two. Okay, so this way we have indicated where the head is going to be. And now we can add the bulk into the head. I also want to use some yellow in there. Just so our flamingo is nicely um, colored, like so it has some different colors of the feathers. Then do the neck. Okay. 
me and I'm adding the thickness into it as I go so this way you know what kind of thickness you can do it. Okay, pick up some yellow. And by doing the strokes, you're kind of giving a texture. So it looks like a feathers. Okay, let's work on the head even more. So here we will have some peak and I want to kind of start doing the prolonged part and then indicate the neck. By going like this, I'm kind of separating the neck from the head. And then also clean the brush and we can start painting the peak. You don't have to cure it yet. So for the peak, I'm going to use some white and his peak goes straight and then it strongly bends. So I started with the white and then the part of the peak goes where the eye is. Then some pink. Then right at the end, we are going to use some black. I forgot about the black. So I'm just picking up the drop of the black. And this gel can be used also for a transfer foil as well. Remove the excess of the product from my brush. and then paint some black. Then give it a flash cure so we can move on into the next step. Okay, we can uh, also put a matte top coat over this tip. So just cover it with the matte top coat. and then give it a cure. Okay, I can take my dotting tool and we can paint the eye. So I'm dipping in the brush into white and yellow. So I can create a yellow, like very, very light yellow color. and we are painting a decent eye. We can also move on and start painting those uh, wings. And I want some pink with white. So I have picked on my brush, actually pink and white on the other side. And then just give it wavy, 
wavy motion. Even bring it closer. So I've got all the mixture of the colors. Clean the brush. Using a top coat, we will also fade some colors. So if you want to sh do any shading, like make sure you've got some top coats, then it is much easier to, to do the fading. Okay, so I want some white mixed with the top coat. Because now we are work going to work on the head and we are going to highlight some things. So I'm highlighting the top. And I'm highlighting the cheek. Then using a darker pink, so a little bit more red. We will improve the shape, so just prolong it. You can even add the tiniest drop of the black into your red mixture. And just the place where the pick is starting, I'm adding those detail there. And then same on the bottom of the pick. And also around the eye. No, we didn't cure the eye. We leave the eye alone. <laughs> okay, we line on the peak. Now I've got some red. I want to put more detail into our peak. And then outline the neck. So I've got red top coat. Because we need to add some volume into there as well. I'm not outlining everything, just some parts.
around the eye, lots of top coat there. You can see it, how beautifully the colors blend in when we've got the top coat. Then you want some darker color on the neck. And just keep blending. Then when the wings are And then give it a cure. Okay, this is ready for a part two. So we've got the smart top coat. And then I'm going to use some yellow color. I'm not using only the gel polish. I'm also using the um, uh, gel arts because um, they can be without of the top coat. Uh, so it's safer to use them. And now we are going to paint some leaves. I want them quite long. Almost like a wee palm. Then this orange. Kind of just wiggle my brush and then I prolong them. This is the quickest way to paint the leaves. And the one on the top to be pink. And guys, you, you can see it, I've got like a black mark in there. Um, it'll have been like a, probably some mistake when the tips have been done. So I'm just placing my leaf into this mark to hide it. So if there is any imperfection on your design, um, when you're doing the next part, just try to hide it. So overall look is going to look much nicer. That looks so cool on its own, even like if you were to just an ombre for a client. Um, 
and some leaves like I think is super cool and what you could do it you could leave it like this you could sprinkle with the clear acrylic powder then it will have the same texture as the bottom or you could use the sugar and I'm going to use the sugar the multicolor one so it has some orange greens like yellows like multicolor sparkle through it and because we've got matte top coat it will only stick into the fresh parts of the gel polish tap it in to remove the excess and give it proper cure for sugaring I like to give it a double cure um, because this way I can make sure the product is going to stay on let's go back to our flamingo well that's not the flamingo here there it is now we can do the eye detail so I'm needing a black dot so black dot now I am training my brush to give me a really nice and thin lines and I've got a drop of the top coat and I've got a tiny bit of the black as well because I want to paint it an eyelid There is hardly any product guys in there. Like look at my brush, nothing, almost nothing there. And then the bottom. Okay, so this way we have painted an eyelid, part one. Then red with black. On the top. Clean my brush. And I want to still add more detail into the peak. And make it decent, more decent. <laughs> You can see it hardly any product there. Some black underneath. and then give it a cure. It's going to be a only a couple seconds cure. Using white, we are going to add some highlights. So I'm picking up my white and clean it from the brush because we have used the black and then the black is still on your brush. So if you don't clean it, you don't get a nice results. Clean it and then re-pick up your white again. Okay, so we are going to paint those eyelid. You can even put a drop of the yellow into it. And then do the eyelid. Okay, I also want to put more highlight. And I'm doing lots of motion, so I, I've got those feather texture in there. Then the top of the head. You can even put the drop of the yellow into your white.
lots of top knot. Okay, and then let's work on a tiny bit more detail into our wings. So I've got this red with the tiniest drop of the yellow. I'm kind of putting through those orangey color there as well. Basically our flamingo is almost ready. Um, I'm going to highlight some parts on the peak. So just a wee drop and then where I've got the pink we highlight there and tiny bit more pink around okay and then give it a cook this one is ready so I'm just going to take a brush and remove the excess of the sugar ring okay, and this way we have got a really beautiful pastel design which we can place in there and the flamingo is almost ready as well So I'm just going to use some pink and red mixed together to outline it. And outlining with the D-liner brush is so much easier and quicker. Here. and then we can apply the top coat and I'm going to um, I will just add a sparkle in the eye and we'll apply the top coat and do a little bit of the texture so I will sparkle inside the eye and then the top coat and for a change I'm going to keep it in a matte like I actually, okay, I'm not going 
to add the texture, oh gosh. I like to use the paint on French on top of the designs because it gives those kind of 3D look. Um, but I will just do it a couple more wiggles of the brush for the feathers. Because we could put it uh, on top without a top coat and that will give us a uh, quite nice texture as well. And then a matte top coat on the entire design. So a couple seconds flash cure and then just cover everything with the matte top coat. And straight away into the smart top coat, I'm just going to add two, three, two, three crystals. I've got them uh, from Alina crystals. They are recycled crystals. I have just peeled them from the needles. I want just one, two, three in a corner. On the clients, I would use the base gel and then I would go with the top coat. This is a display tip, so I'm just going to put it straight into the top coat and then I can show you the final results of the design which we have created today. I hope you have guys really enjoyed it. Let me cure a little bit longer because I always under cure. Uh, if you did like this video, hit the share button so the other can see it as well. Um, and also I'm looking forward to seeing other ideas what else you would like to see it on this channel so I could produce it for you but that's the flamingo uh, ready and it can go into the display board so that's oh so that's how it looks all together you can see it I'm sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now.